Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have all of the LEGO Harry Potter 2021 Hogwarts Castle sets to share in this very video and hopefully successfully combine all of the sets together. Now this combination video will be including the Gryffindor common room right here. Which I think is great because the promo just came out a couple weeks ago, I think, and now that it's over, people just have the set laying around. And of course, we also have Duplo Hogwarts, we have the bathroom, we have first flying lesson, and of course, the main attraction, the Chamber of Secrets set. Without further ado, let's play around with these sets and see what combination we can come up with that will hopefully look quite good on display. Let's get started! So first up, I'm going to start off by doing the standard Hogwarts combination included in this very picture right here that Lego were kind enough to provide everybody who bought the sets, I suppose, just to like ease the whole combination experience. But with that, I'm thinking of probably placing the Gryffindor common room right above or below Fluffy's encounter. Now, I've received a couple comments in my community tab where people were suggesting to put it above Fluffy's encounter and also below it. And also another comment that said to put it near Gilroy Lockhart's classroom. Now, one thing that I don't like about the Gryffindor common room is that like on this side here, you can see these black bricks and that's going to look very bad compared to the other sets in the whole wave so I'm going to be swapping out these black pieces with one by eight tan pieces. So right here I have the Gryffindor common room that actually looks like a common room and not a checkerboard. As you can see there on the back we now have these tan one by eight pieces replacing the black pieces and this really really helps in creating a common room type of atmosphere that is very livable for Lego minifigures and I believe that this will fit in much much better with the rest of the Hogwarts castle. So I'm really excited to try and see how it can fit in to the best of our ability here. And again, the back is nice and it actually fits in. So let's do this. Hey everyone, so welcome back. <laughs> I took like an hour to try and get a decent combination for the Hogwarts castle featuring the 2021 sets. And I guess this looks fine. It's not perfect by any means at all. And I apologize for the super awkward angle. It's because the top of the Hogwarts castle wasn't going to fit in the original frame. So I had to just try and fit it in by getting this weird bird's eye, not really bird's eye view of the whole set, if that makes any sense. But I guess in general, this kind of looks decent on the outside. I noticed that on most of the Lego instructions, when they show this set, they always show it from the back. I guess it's because the set isn't supposed to be meant to look good from the front. So it, I don't really blame myself for it looking like this. <sighs> Maybe I do, but whatever. In the front, we have the first flying lesson that's just hanging out there and it's somewhat combined with Fluffy's encounter. That was the only combination that I found that actually worked and made sense. And on the side here, we basically have the rest of Fluffy's encounter, which is there in the bottom but on the top we have the Gryffindor common room that's just hiding there blending in perfectly because of the lack of the black lines that were there before so I think it fits in really nicely there that's probably my favorite part of the entire set which was the whole point of this video so there we go and on the top we have like the Fluffy's encounter rooftop that I put on top of the Gryffindor common room just to make it fit in more and of course in the center we have the central part of the Hogwarts castle featuring Gildroy Lockhart's classroom and then in the center the bathroom the bottom the dungeons and the top Gildroy Lockhart's office and lastly on this side I just didn't touch the great hall or the chamber of secrets I didn't want to cause any more damage there so I just left it as it is and I guess it fits in pretty nicely there in general I think it looks fine it's pretty decent it's not the best, but it's not the worst, I guess. So let's take a look at the back of the castle and I'll share with you guys my thought process behind the placement of each section of this little mod. So right here we have a look at the combination from the inside, which I think looks fine if you don't think about it too much. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to analyze everything because why not? And I'll just roast myself in the process. So the first thing I have is the part that I didn't use. It's like this little rooftop from the first flying lesson. I just kind of decided not to include this because I had no use for it. So 
I technically couldn't place it anywhere, nowhere made sense. So here we have it just hanging out on its own with these little translucent wire pieces that are supposed to like act as little flying pieces, which just fell, can't really fly, false advertisement. So we are supposed to have the first flying lesson on this side right here, which makes sense, I suppose, if you don't think about it. And right there we have the little trophy display with the little shield and the trophy, like I said earlier, for James Potter and stuff. And I've, I guess, decided to include the Fluffy's encounter on top there. And I really wanted to put this little trap right in the middle because it made more sense. But then I thought about it a little more and I was like, the Gryffindor common room isn't supposed to be attached to the Devil's Snare Trap because... Yeah, I know I'm a Slytherin, but I'm not that salty towards Gryffindors, if you know what I'm saying. So I would rather have them live in peace than be disrupted by Devil's Snare as soon as they open that door and um, try to leave. You know, that's not going to make too much sense, and I guess I'm too much of a nice person to wish that upon any Gryffindor. And on the bottom, we have the little trap door for Fluffy. If you try actually opening up the trap door, you'll be greeted with nothing but nothingness so ideally you're supposed to be creative and stretch out your imagination and somehow pretend that after opening that trap door you'd disapparate and reapparate into the devil's snare at will so if that makes any sense let's just roll with it right here in this section we have gildroy lockhart's office now i've decided to put his office right there and then the bathroom for the polyjuice potion and right below the little slide for the chamber of secrets and on this side we have the great hall which again i did not touch at all in this video again with salazar slytherin's face he will not kill me or be mad at me because i've decided to just keep that part as it is so 10 points to Slytherin. Like, I know I said before that I was going to try putting the Gryffindor common room below Fluffy's encounter, but that didn't make much sense to me because I was like, it's not really going to make much of a difference. And I would much rather have the Gryffindors sleep safe and sound than be uh, at risk of being murdered by Devil's Snare. So there we go. I can't believe I just said that. Anyway. <laughs> Well guys, that pretty much wraps up this little combination video. I hope you guys went on to enjoy it and I'm sorry. Uh, I tried my best trying to combine everything together and it looks kind of chaotic, but you know, there's only so much you can do with the actual sets themselves other than completely modifying and altering them to fit your own little dreams of not having square windows and sand green roofs and you know, random splotches of tan and orange in a set, whatever, I'm sorry, I'm going too hard on it. But anyway, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what you think of this little combination and what you guys plan on doing with your sets. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.